So what's it like being on the radio? It's dope, man. Like, it's super dope. Being on the radio is it's insane, man. Like, to think that I've had a career now doing this is wild. Um, but I'll be honest, like, just talking to you right now about being, like, I'll give you the, what's it like being on the radio? It's amazing. It's my dream come true. It's the gig I always wanted. It was exactly what I wanted to do. Um, once I kind of figured out basketball wasn't going to be my, my real gig. Um, but there's, there's a lot to it. It's a lot. First of all, you really do got to understand and respect the craft of radio. Like seeing like Rick D's and Ryan Seacrest and big boy and the Baker boys. And, you know, with me coming up under Julio G and, and seeing just great radio personalities it's like yo okay i understand that i've got to figure out how to use this mic and my voice to share some type of something you know what i mean like what is this am i sharing the music am i sharing a story about something it's it's a lot to it now we got visuals you know now we can pop some cameras on and show it differently and do it differently but it's like the real craft of radio in that theater of the mind is 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 it's been a life learning experience. Like, I feel like I'm still learning how to get better. I still catch myself like, oh, try to say it this way. Try, you know what I mean? Doing different yeah. stuff. But then there's the whole other side of it, dude, where it's like, people think, oh man, bro, so you just work four hours a day or whatever your shift is. And it's like, go in, hop on the radio, play some music and be out. No, I like, see you doing all that stuff on a computer. You gotta, yeah. Like, there's a, there's the skills, if you would, that yeah. come along with it. Um, so you got to learn the skills. You've got to be able to do it. And then you've, you've also just got to be able to cut out everything else going on because it's a workspace where you've got salespeople out making money. You've got production people that are creating commercials and, and, and promos for different giveaways or different things that your station is doing. You've got promotions people that are running through that are in and out, heading to different event here, heading to different event there. Vehicles, you've got, it's just so it's, there's all of this stuff going on which is all the beauty of it because it's this this living breathing constantly going thing which i'm like yo i love this like i really love this this thing of radio um it's different than it was it's very different um i'm blessed to still enjoy it i feel like i have a lot of friends who who aren't in radio anymore um some of who they do their job you know once you've learned to do it you're in it now radio because of different forms and sizes of media it's found a, a lesser place if you would in in the the grand scheme of it it was like television and radio that was it now you've got television radio cable internet boom 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 yeah. boom 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 you know what i'm saying so it's it's one of several it's great it's in vehicles it's in cars people still do listen to it at the house you know what i mean yeah. it's it, it still has an impact so i enjoy it um but it's a new competitive day now and how you grow it and like i remember this like being a personality at a station um in 2006 i want to say it was like so right when myspace and youtube came out and and i was putting videos with interview with artists interviews on YouTube yeah and I would promote it through MySpace and nobody else was doing that at that time mm -hmm. so it was it was really cool to be on it yo it got to the crazy point to where the general manager of that station she was like we're gonna fire you if you're on MySpace or da 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 she put a memo up for everybody to read like if they're caught you're getting fired and I'm like what? yo this is promoting your radio station like but it's I look back and I'm like, yeah, she's not in radio anymore. Yeah. It m makes great sense as to why. When your brain can't wrap around growth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, radio's not the same. It's still dope. I'm still having fun and finding ways to have fun doing it. But it's the growth of it. And some people haven't been able to figure that part of it out. I'm blessed and fortunate to say that I'm still enjoying radio a lot. I work with really cool people. That probably helps. Mm -hmm. um, and I still appreciate the music that I play on the radio. That's another thing, too. It was like 
sometimes you go through those phases where you're on radio and say you're on a hip hop station or a pop station or whatever, and so the music changes. So if this music kind of zones away from what you're used to it being and you got into it because you love the music, which was for me, that was it. Like it was like 90s hip hop and just that, that real, real music time was super fun for me to get into radio and then it went through this other way where I'm like, I don't really like this music that I gotta play and talk yeah. about like I love it. <laughs> Who is getting weird? Now it became the job, you know? Yeah. And then like, you know, then you have the experience like I wouldn't wish upon any of my colleagues in radio where you get the the hurricane of a tornado of a program director that comes in and is given the green light by the upper management to run it however mm -hmm. and it goes everywhere and they don't know what they're doing musically they don't know what the position of the station is they're just wiling out and you're like man this is my career i gotta take this seriously like i love what i do yeah and now i'm working for a dude who really don't care or you're not showing me you care mm -hmm. like because i've worked with great leaders that that you can see by what they do like okay bet i'm learning or whatever it is but Man, when you get at that radio station and you've got that PD or that music director or that person that's like, oh man, I gotta work with them. Yeah. Like, then it makes it, you know, like any gig, you know, like if you're at the, the sandwich spot and you're working and it's like, I can't stand the chef. He over here always talking crazy or whatever it is. Like, then radio can be like any other gig. And you just are like, oh, I gotta come in and see this dude or I gotta go and talk to this cat. And you, it, it becomes that. Um, I think I've been super duper blessed to enjoy 99% of my time in radio. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. there was a couple people, and I, and I can't even put them out because I would, I would really hate to do them like that. But, you know, there have been people who have told me that I'd never be in radio. There were people that said, um, there was a person in particular that said, I was too urban, it wouldn't work. I need to change everything. You should probably find another gig. You should probably do something different. You're a nice guy. Maybe radio's not for you. I've heard all of those things. Wow, so really? Yeah. Yeah. And I and and I and that's where too I'll say, you know, for me being in radio this long, it feels great for a lot of different reasons. Mm -hmm. For first of all, because now I can appreciate what so many years of doing something can look like. Yeah and really being, having had enough time in this craft to get closer to mastering this craft. Yeah. You know, some people don't get that opportunity. So for being in radio, it's cool. Then there's the flip side too, to where, man, sometimes you get to work, man, Jay, and it's like, if the, if your AC in the car goes out, you get a flat tire, you know, your, your kid is sick, like, mom's is tripping or something and she's calling and she needs your help and you need you know there's real life that takes over you got to pay extra bills boom something else goes down boom this that and now you've got to come to work and you've got to put a smile on your face yeah and, and you've got to just <laughs> thug it out like yeah. in a way that you're like man like i've been on the radio i remember it was just like having to get to work after and my sister's gonna laugh about this but she had told me she's getting married like when i was heading to work and i'm like hey hold on hold on hold on what you see what i'm saying yeah. like having a moment like that hits you yeah and then you're going to work and then you got to get to work and just be like wow you got to get back to it radio's fast yeah. there's things happening pop, yeah. pop, 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 pop. so there's all this stuff going on and i'm like but in the back of my head is like did my sister just tell me she's getting married you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. here I am on the radio, yeah. and it's like, and seeing, like, working with Julio G I, so closely for those years at the beat. I would see him full on off the air. He's, he's arguing with his girl. Yada, 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 yada. Grab the mic. Hey, it's 92.3 the beat. Ba, 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 ba. And just go right into it. Hang the, get off the air and go right back. Like, so listen, like I told you, look, ba, 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 ba. And I'm like, <laughs> and I just sat there as an uh, intern, like, mind blown. Like, yeah. whoa. But it's the professionalism, yeah, and yeah, that that I think I've learned so much, man. Like in the, in my time in radio, that's helped me in life, 
absorb a lot of things and be able to deal and, and be able to learn how to be flexible and how to work with people, with people that you don't like. You know, there've been some people that I work with and they're like, man, how do you work with him? I'm like, he's cool. They're like, ah, he's weird. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, man, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm a big believer too in everybody having like really, I think everyone has very unique skill sets and are great at certain things that you might not know. And I'm a big fan of people. I, I enjoy people. I enjoy good people in particular. Spending time and getting to talk with people that are brilliant. Mm -hmm. And now while brilliant people might rub some people the wrong way, you know, yeah. it is what it is. But all in all, man, this radio ride, it's been quite a journey. I'll say this. I, I'll say to everybody that wants to really know what it's like being on the radio, it's nothing like you thought. No. It is nothing like you imagined. It, it, it happens in a way that is kind of a magical, mythical thing. To all my radio colleagues that, that if they watch this, they're going to understand. Like, dang, bro, he's kind of right. Like, it's, you can't really explain it all yeah. the way. I could tell you everything, mm -hmm. but it's a definite theater of the mind that you create when you do radio. Yeah. And to be able to have done it this long, man, I'm blessed to do it. I can't wait to see... How long the ride continues yeah no man man you're a natural like, i see it you know it, it comes off naturally you, that's just you this is i think this this is your where you belong i appreciate it and yeah and i'll be honest with you too bro like thank you for saying that and at the same time man if i wasn't good by this point <laughs> 20-something years. Oh. Like, what am I doing with my life? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> but, <laughs> but I appreciate it.